Uh, Thaddeus in Springfield, Missouri, thanks for waiting. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, we only got a couple minutes left, thanks to Gary. Yeah, but. <laughs> yeah uh, I'd just like to pose uh, one particular question. Now, this question was uh, actually tied into the previous caller. I found that somewhat interesting. Um, aside from people like the gentleman that just called, who I think needs to seek mental help, um, why... The Old Testament, it's, it's, very, it's a consensus amongst most Christians that it's depraved and that we don't need to, or we shouldn't, per se, um, abide by those kind of laws in today's society. And the, the, the reason they say that we no longer have to do this is because Jesus died on the cross. Yeah. My question is, why was that ever, like, okay to begin with? I've it's asked the same you. God. Yeah. Yeah, it's, I've yeah, asked it's the same. You. Yeah, there's a number of different apologetics. One is, oh, that Old Testament stuff doesn't matter anymore because Jesus came and fixed everything and changed everything. And then there's another apologetic which kind of goes along the lines that G-Man says. And William Lane Craig, by the way, would partially agree with G-Man because he's made all kinds of excuses for the atrocities committed in the Old Testament. And for the people, though, that say it's changed, but what they're saying is that this used to be moral according to God and now it's not. And why would that change? Yeah. That's, that's my question right there. Why does it have to change? If, if God's will is perfect, if his plan is perfect, yeah. why did he have to know it out? And why did he have to use a blood sacrifice to do it? Yep. Yeah, it's...